What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So I can't believe it, but I survived another year. We are coming to the end of 2017 and for some people they're probably like, yes, just get this year done, let's bring on 2018 and hopefully it'll be a better year than 2017. So I wanted to do this video because I wanted to talk about the highs and the lows of 2017 and um, I know that there is a lot of new subscribers on the channel especially recently with games like Resi 7 and all that and most of you have absolutely no clue about anything that I've really had to go through this year in 2017. I've tried to keep a lot of it kind of hush hush especially if it was negative because I don't like sharing negative stuff and there's a lot that I have learned in 2017 and I guess I just want to share it with you guys. So I'm going to start with some of the more like negative stuff, I guess, of 2017. Then that way I can finish the video on hopefully a positive. So I guess the best way to start with 2017 is that I've always had an issue living in this flat because I've had to deal with extremely noisy neighbors. We have kids below us. We have you know, kids above us and things like that. And um, if you've ever lived in an apartment or a flat, you'll know that most neighbors, they just, they don't tend to be considerate to other people. They just do what they want. They blast their music. They let their kids run riot and they don't really think about other people. And um, I had a woman move in below me back in June and I didn't think that she could be much worse than the women that lived there before but uh, she was, so I ended up spending £2,000 to soundproof my office floor. That's just one room, by the way, and it didn't work. So I ended up like raising the floor and putting soundproof mats down and getting the best stuff that I could get my hands on, and it didn't work. So she still lives below me. She's still a complete nightmare, and um, I do try to just, you know, get through it and things like that, but I'm praying that, you know, next year I can buy somewhere else, get out of this place. I'm saving as hard as I can, except for Christmas. I spent way too much money over Christmas, but um, yeah, I'm hoping that I can get out of here next year and, you know, record in peace, basically. Which kind of brings me on to the next subject, which is money, money, money. As a lot of you are probably aware, there was obviously financial issues this year with a lot of creators on YouTube. Um, a lot of advertisers were pulling out, so a lot of us were making like hardly any money. It's only for me the past two months or so that I finally started making a really good wage on YouTube, but I've been doing this full time for a year. And it was probably one of the worst times to go full-time YouTube because I was struggling. You know, I I don't know how many times I quit. You know, I would say to CJ, I'd be like, that's it, I can't do this anymore. You know, I'm going back, I'm going to get a regular job, I'm going to have my weekends back, and I, I can't do this anymore. Um, but for whatever reason, I decided to persist, and things are a lot better now towards the end of the year. So I'm praying the next year it can continue. Obviously AdRev gets better towards Christmas, but for me it's been doing really well since September, October time, so hoping that what I was making September, October time is gonna last into next year, and that's really gonna help me be able to get a house and you know get out of this living situation that I am in just now because it drives me crazy and sends my anxiety like through the roof. But the positive side to that is that you guys have really helped me as well on Patreon. I ran out of Christmas cards as well, so I had to get some more of those ordered. I had no idea that so many of you would really want that from me. So again, thank you so much to all of you for buying the merch that went live this year, for buying the Christmas cards, and just to all supporters with donations and Patreon and things like that. You guys have been amazing and you've really kept me going this year. So as I say, I didn't want to focus too much on the negative, but I, I feel like for me, 2017 has not been the greatest year. It started off really well. Um, Square Enix gave me tickets to go to Germany and I managed to go to the Final Fantasy Fan Fest, which is to do with Final Fantasy XIV, and it was a really great experience. It was my first time in Germany. And I got to meet the famous composer Nobu. If you love Final Fantasy, you'll be kind of jealous 
of that but I freaked out and I was so excited and I cried and I shook his hand and I got a picture taken with him and I will never forget that experience. It was absolutely amazing. And this year has been really great for me in regards to gaming. Like as I said previously I got my merch set up, you guys got your own Suzy Lou Christmas cards and we hit 100,000 subscribers as well. I still don't have my plaque that you get for hitting 100,000 subscribers, but I have ordered it and it, it'll ev like arrive eventually, I guess, but I don't have that just yet. So I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you who helped me get the channel to 100,000 subscribers. I mean, when I started YouTube, I never thought I'd get 100 subscribers. That took me months and months and months. And to finally get a hundred thousand and to be growing the way we are just now as well, like, I just, I pray every day and I thank you guys, you know, for just helping me make the dream a reality. But, um, it's been great as well to have so many games companies and the developers and things like that want to work with me. And also that kind of brings me to my next down point. So this is something that I never properly talked about when everything happened. This is probably going to be the first time I really talk about it, but back in September there was a strike of sorts in London from McDonald's workers who were demanding £10 an hour. And um, I know a lot of you are in America or things like that, but um, £10 an hour is a lot of money where I stay. I stay in Scotland and most jobs around here you're talking maybe seven to seven pound fifty an hour you know it might be a little bit more now but I don't know I've been doing YouTube for so long I couldn't really tell you but ten pounds an hour is a lot of money so they were striking because that's what they wanted just to work in McDonald's and I put up a tweet about this because personally from where I'm from I thought that that was kinda cheeky to ask for that much money now, bearing in mind I have actually no idea what the cost of living in London is, I can only speak for where I live myself. And anyway, to cut a long story short, my tweet like completely blew up. Like I've never had this happen in my entire life, like nothing I've ever said, like no one cares, basically. <laughs> no one cares. And it ended up in like this massive, massive backlash where it had like other YouTubers actually doing videos like about me and it had other YouTubers, you know, attacking me on Twitter and things like that. And it kind of ended up being like nothing to do with what I said come the end. It was more about like you're a YouTuber so you don't have an opinion basically. Like you don't know what it's like to have to work hard and this and that. You know, not that I've ever had a real job in my life or anything like that but um, yeah, I feel like one of the most negative things of this year was just how that tweet went from something so small in my mind and just my opinion to share with my Twitter followers and then it was actually shared by like bigger YouTubers like some from PlayStation Access and things like that which then caused it to be like this massive big deal that it really wasn't to be honest with you. And the, the sad thing about social media as well is that no one will ever come to you to talk to you about anything. They just straight up go on the whole like, I hate you, I despise you. And I, I always find it interesting because a lot of people that I have met, you know, face to face, actually now no longer speak to me just because of that one tweet, but I've known them for years and in my opinion we were always like quite close friends and things like that. So the fact that they can't even like come to you to basically be like, well, what did you mean by that? You know, did you mean what the media is saying? Because, I mean, this went, like, everywhere. It was on the news. Even my own, like, mum ended up getting, like, harassed over this. It was insane. And, yeah, I just, like, still to this day, when I look back on it, it's like, I don't see why it was such a big deal. And I still find it really surprising that people are, like, so quick to jump on you for things like that. And it's one thing that I'll say to anyone is that, like, it kind of opened my eyes to what the world of social media is and how it can be such a negative thing and it's kind of made me want to just in 2018 just kind of cut out so many of these like fake sort of people and just really focus on like my audience and myself and just kind of go down that route and just try and make everything a little bit more positive and to just kind of be careful as well with who I trust in future because you never know 
on YouTube. Like, people are so quick to attack you and they're always waiting. That's the thing. And the more recognized you become on YouTube, the more that's gonna happen to you. So yeah, I feel like that's probably one of like the most negative things because I got abused for like two to three weeks straight and so did members of my family, so it was kind of ridiculous. So overall, 2017, it's not been the best year. There's been some highs and there's been some pretty incredible lows, but I just wanna say to you guys, like, thank you so much for getting me through it. Hopefully 2018 is going to be a lot better. I'm happy with where the channel is. I'm happy I don't stream anymore. The quality, in my opinion, is just so much better. So thank you so much, everyone, for supporting what I do. I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas and New Year. And yeah, let's keep the positivity train going. I nearly said training. Let's keep the training going. Let's keep that train going, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.